Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane. My name is Mandy, if you are new, welcome. So today I'm gonna to be showing you what a working outside of the home mama schedule looks like in the evening. So stay tuned. Shout to me and you to write a story on a shape that I knew. So on this particular day after work, I ended up picking Isabella up from school and then we headed over to Aldi. I have tomorrow off, but I just didn't want to have to go to the grocery store tomorrow. I've got other things I wanted to do and that was not one of them. So I went ahead, picked up Isabella, and then we headed over to Aldi. And this is some of my goodies. The kids love their mac and cheese after school. And then I got Isabella, or not Isabella, Amelia, some more um, applesauce. She loves the kind in the pouches. I've bought it in the little bowls and she will not eat that. She likes the pouches. And then this is also for, this is for both of the girls. I think my husband eats these too in the morning. And then these Bella wanted those. And then just some cheese crackers, frosted flakes. I normally don't buy this kind because of all the sugar in it, but I was feeling a little froggy, I guess, for Isabella, so she wanted them. And then the Pop-Tarts, that's something else I don't usually buy too often. Vanilla wafers. You like Pop-Tarts? And then I got some yogurt for Amelia, crackers for Isabella to bring to school. She has those for her snack. Some blueberry puffs for Amelia, popcorn and butter, um, Kraft cheese. I've tried the Aldi brand of the cheese, but I just don't like it. So they do sell the Kraft at Aldi. It is a little bit cheaper than Publix, so I go ahead and get it there. And then strawberries, cinnamon rolls for this weekend for the girls' breakfast, olives, diced tomatoes, refried beans. And then my husband wanted some tuna steaks for this weekend or actually I think on Friday. So I got a couple of these. I've never had these from Aldi, so I don't know what they're like. And then my heavy whipping cream, I use this in my coffee. It's just, I like it a lot better than half and half. It makes it a little more rich and it's got um, a lot of fat in it for, okay. It has a lot of fat in it for um, the keto diet. So that's what I always use just a little bit and then a couple avocados, and then some stew meat. Tonight we are having chili verde. I'm gonna be putting it in the Instant Pot. Onions, pecan halves. I like to just eat these by the handful. And then some breadstick or cracker stick and cheese dip, and then muffins. And this is our favorite Italian dressing, the Olive Garden dressing. Cucumber, raspberries, and blueberries. Oh, and a loaf of bread. And then I have a gallon of organic milk and a dozen eggs out in the garage refrigerator. And my total was $125.47. So not too bad for all of this, for the, especially have getting the tuna steak and the meat. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have seen a picture, one of my posts that I posted of Amelia. As soon as she gets home, she puts her Little Mermaid dress on. She got this for Christmas. Aren't you pretty? I'm Ariel. <laughs> You're Ariel. So they are already starting in on their snack. Oh, we got mandarin oranges too. I guess Amelia's already opened that up. 
And I got this little container. I got one for Amelia the last time I went. I got her a pink one and Bella really liked it. So I got, she wanted blue. It's really nice because when you open it or when you close it up, this is all that you have to store. But when you're ready to pack your lunch, all of those pop down. So this one is two cups, one and a half cups, and one cup. It's really cute, I like it. And then the lid has the four snaps. It's um, BPA free, this is silicone. So I really like that. Something else they got was White Castle sliders. We were trying those out and it looks like they liked them. Emmy has just a couple more bites. Bella gobbled hers up. So as soon as we come in, the kids get a snack. Amelia turns the TV on to The Little Mermaid. <laughs> and she strips down and puts her mermaid dress on. And then you step on it. Oh. Oh, when you're putting it on, you step on it. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and just put away all the groceries. I'm going to go ahead and wash my produce, get that cut up and put away. And once I clear the countertop off, I'm going to get the Instant Pot out and start my Chili Verde. And here is a sneak peek at what we're having this week. Um, we've already had the Keto Chicken Pot Pie and the spaghetti. And tonight we're having Chili Verde, Keto Chicken Pot Pie Leftovers, and Beef Burritos, and then Tuna Steaks. And then on Saturday, we're having dinner out with friends. And if you guys like this little dashboard, this is for my planner. This was from Brittany, Mama's Time Out Design. She also has a YouTube channel. So she has a, her own little shop. She makes these and they are just so cute. On one side has your weekly meal plan and then on the other side you put down your shopping list. And I love this. I just take this with me and go to the grocery store. So I don't really have an actual cleaning schedule, but I do have a laundry schedule that I stick to because I do not like it getting piled up on me. And on this particular day, it was sheets day, so I'm going to go ahead and change out the sheets and get the others washed and folded and put back in the linen closet. My cleaning, I just do it whenever I see that it needs to be done. I keep up with it so that it doesn't get piled up and things don't get cruddy. All of this laundry was actually washed the day before but I had to do the schedule for work and call patients and that took over an hour to do and then I had some other things I needed to get done so I did not get to fold all of this yesterday so now I'm having to do that today as well like I said I do not like it getting piled up on me so I try to keep up with it as best as I can
One of Isabella's chores is to put up the dishes out of the dishwasher. So she's gonna go ahead and do that while the dinner's cooking. And that way I can come in and start cleaning up the mess. I like to clean up the kitchen as I'm going when I'm cooking to keep it from being such a pile after we have dinner. And this is the Chili Verde, what it looks like when it's all finished. Okay, something else we like to do in the evening, we try to make sure we do, is watch Wheel of Fortune. It comes on at 7. So we are just about finished cooking dinner, and then we'll have dinner, and then it's bath time for the kids. And bed. Leave it all over again We gon' break up, then we make up Act like we're gonna be friends There's the fire, take me higher Leave it all over again, all over again Guys, her room is still clean. Good night. Maybe too. Once the kids are in bed, I like to go ahead and vacuum the kitchen and the eating area. It's just a very high traffic area and crumbs and everything, so I try to do this every night. All right, both of the kids are now in bed. I am going to fix me some decaf coffee. And then I have a bunch of paperwork that I need to do. Not a bunch, I have six notes, but today is the end of the pay period. So I need to get that all finished up. And then I'm going to sit down and relax a little bit. Normally, I clean something in the house, but because we went to the grocery store today, that actually took up an hour, a little over an hour of my time. So, I didn't really get to clean. I mean, I cleaned the kitchen, but that's something that I do every day anyways, after dinner. Um, but yeah, I just, Whenever I come home from work, I cannot go and sit down and rest for a minute because if I do, then I'm not going to get back up and go clean anything. So and I try to do something every day so that I keep it, um, keep the house maintained. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.